to talk us through kind of what to expect in Vienna. Are we likely to see another cut? Uh, it's a good question. Uh, most, most market watchers are forecasting that uh, levels will remain unchanged. It's a, it's a production policy meeting for the second half of the year. Uh, and if you recall back in April, uh, OPEC uh, did announce surprise cuts um, to the market, and those cuts are filtering through now. So there is... Um, a portion of the market that wants to see how they develop and how it works and what sort of effect it has on prices. So most are, are forecasting levels unchanged at this stage, but you know, it, it, things could happen. You know, OPEC have done uh, surprise things in the past. What do you think, what level are they targeting? I think people were saying they were targeting maybe like $80, $90 oil. It seems like even just these cuts that we've seen so far really haven't led to those levels just yet. They haven't. And uh, it's, it's been a drag on the market from things like uh, demand concerns. Uh, China isn't rebounding as quickly as some had as hoped. Uh, some in the market think that Brent, uh, a $70 barrel, sort of, is that sort of that threshold. So as long as it stays above 70 the, 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 the cuts, there probably won't be additional cuts, but a sustained period below that and there might be some internal ructions uh, within, the, within the group uh, for, for more action perhaps. Um, there's a lot of talk about Russia and their reluctance to trim output in all this. It, you know, how can we classify this sort of OPEC plus alliance now? Do you think it's weakened? Since this Ukraine war, uh, you know, it's it's that's also a difficult question to answer. <laughs> On the question of, of Russia, uh, they don't release any of their data anymore, so it's very difficult to uh, to to gauge um, whether they're making any cuts at all. UBS thinks that uh, they are cutting by about three hundred thousand barrels a day, which would be close to that five hundred thousand barrel cut which they pledged to make in retaliation to sanctions. Um, but you did see last week uh, a little bit of uh, conflict between Saudi Arabia and Russia. Yeah. If you like, in that uh, you know, the Saudi uh, energy minister was talking about uh, telling speculators to watch out, um, perhaps flagging a potential cut this weekend, whereas the uh, Russian uh, deputy minister, um, Alexander Novak, was a little bit more measured, saying, you know, we need to see how those cuts that we've already announced are working. So you can't rule out anything with these, with the, when it comes to OPEC+, but uh, looking for levels unchanged. Yeah.